let us see the importance of the set command. It is a non-interactive stream-oriented editor used to automate editing actions to be performed on one or more files. It can simplify the task of performing same edits on multiple files and also used to write conversion programs. The set command reads the specified file or the standard input modifying it as per the commands. It can be used in the following way. Set can be used for text conversion and substitution. Let us look at the contents of the file abc.txt. Suppose we want to replace the word cat with the word dog in the entire file, we can do so by using the set command. Here, s is used for substitute, cat is the word that we want to replace, dog is the word that we want to replace it with. G is used to change all occurrences of the word. As we can see, the word cat is replaced with the word dog in the entire file. Now, if we look at the contents of the file again, we can see that the original file has not been changed. Now, if we want to replace the word cat with the word dog only in the lines containing a particular word, then the following command can be used. Here, apple is the word that should be present in that line, cat is the word that we want to replace and dog is the word that we want to replace it with. As we can see that the changes are made only in the line containing the word apple and not in the other lines. The set command can also be used to insert 5 blank spaces at the beginning of each line. Here, the hat symbol indicates the beginning of the line and the five spaces are to be inserted at the beginning of the line. As we can see, five spaces are inserted at the beginning of each line. Set can also act as a grep emulator. For example, if we want to print the lines containing the word car, the following command is used. The lines containing the word car are printed. Also, the words scar and scars are also matched as they contain the subword car. We can use the set command to insert a semicolon at the end of each line. Here, the dollar symbol indicates the end of each line and semicolon is the character that should be inserted there. As we can see, a semicolon is thus placed accordingly. Selective printing and deletion can also be done using the set command. If we want to print the first three lines, we can use the following command. As we can see, the first three lines are printed. Now to print lines from 2 to 4, we can type the following command. Thus, the lines 2, 3 and 4 are printed. To delete the first three lines, we can type the following command. As we can see, the first three lines are deleted. Now, to delete the last line of the file, we can type 
$z, $d, and the file name. Thus, the last line is deleted. Now, let us look at the awk command. It offers a more general model for file processing and it is best used when the data has some kind of structure. Awk is a pattern directed scanning and processing language. It scans for input file for lines that match any set of patterns specified in Proc. Usage Awk Proc Input File The input line is normally made up of fields separated by white spaces. Fields are denoted by $1, $2, $3, etc. $0 denotes the whole file. There are several inbuilt functions like the mathematical functions exp, log, and sqrt, and other functions like to lower and to upper. The variables with special meanings are fs for field separator, nf for number of fields in a line, and nr the number of lines. Like the set command, awk can also be used as a grep emulator. Suppose we want to print the lines containing the word hat, we can do so by the following command. Thus, the two lines containing the word hat are printed. To print lines with more than a particular number of characters, we use the following command. Here, $0 is used to indicate the entire file and 30 is the particular number of characters. Thus, the lines with more than 30 characters are printed. To print the lines with the first word replaced with another word, we type Here, dollar one indicates the first field, and hello is the word that we want to replace it with. As we can see, the first field of every line is replaced with the word hello. To print the first three lines in a file, we use the following command. As we can see, the first three lines are printed. Now, if we want to print the lines 2 to 4, then we can use the following command. As we can see, the lines 2, 3 and 4 are printed. Try to write these commands by yourself. Now, let us look at the VI pattern manipulation. This command is used to substitute foo with bar. R determines the range. It can be nothing, a number, or the whole file. A determines the arguments, which can be G, which replaces all the occurrences, small i, which is used to ignore the case for search pattern, capital I, to not ignore the case, and C, which is used to confirm each substitution. Try this yourself. For a summary, 
The set command comes handy to perform text transformations on an input string for substituting, selective printing, deletion, and duplication. The awk command uses inbuilt arithmetic expressions or regular expressions or built in variables like fs, nf, and nr. In the end, let us solve a small quiz on what we have learned.